Hey everyone, welcome back to Daily Devotions. Pastor Steve here walking with you in God's Word. We're in the last book of the Psalter. There's five books in all, five books in all. And as we get to start this, Psalm 107 going all the way through Psalm 150. Just collections of the Psalter as what we call it, Psalms with a certain theme every so often. But in 107, there's a lot of question of being able to say why they divided it right here because it seems like it's a conclusion. It it is relative towards Psalm 104 through 107, this little collection of invitations to be able to worship, but also just know the character and know what God has done and what God will continue to do. Psalm 107 has so much of a similar language that they say it's kind of a three part, 105, 106, and 107 with the same author. And so with this invitation to worship once again. Um, It is seen as a Levite, a priest in and amongst the people of Israel, joining them together together, uh, to give praise to God. At what time? Most likely, as it says, it's a reflection of maybe at one time of their festivals to recall what God has done throughout their generations. We've gotten to see that uh, God is God, and we got to see him uh, be in amongst the creation. Um, He is a God of Israel. He's a God of deliverance, always. doesn't matter if we title it over Israel. It matters that he is a God of deliverance overall. And so we get to see most likely this Psalm 107 uh, really speaking and gathering people together after the exile. What I mean by the exile is they were taken out of Jerusalem. There's three waves taken out of Jerusalem from 605 BC to 586 BC. And those three waves over into Jerusalem, that's where we get Daniel, that's where we get Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, that's where we get some of the prophets um, in those times. Um, And within those Babylonian exile, then in 539 BC, Cyrus of the Persians said, go back to Jerusalem. And so this is that gathering. They're coming back to Jerusalem. Look how the Lord delivered them, not just out of Egypt, but out of Babylon, out of the Persian power, and being able to know that he brought them back to a city. You'll see some of those, that language, some of that element here of being able to scatter people coming back together out of the Lord's provision. Psalm 107. Let's meditate together. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Those he redeemed from the hand of the foe. Those he gathered from the lands, from east and west, from north and south. Some wandered in desert wastelands, finding no way to a city where they could settle. They were hungry and thirsty, and their lives ebbed away. Then they cried out to the Lord in their trouble. He delivered them from their distress. He led them by a straight way to a city where they could settle. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his unfailing love and his wonderful deeds for men. For he satisfies the thirsty and fills the hungry with good things. Some sat in darkness and the deepest gloom, prisoners suffering in iron chains. This is talking about that being in a foreign place and suffering in that foreign place. For they had rebelled against the words of God and despised the counsel of the Most High. So he subjected them to bitter labor. They stumbled, and there was no one to help. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he saved them from their distress. He brought them out of darkness and the deepest gloom and broke away their chains. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his unfailing love and his wonderful deeds for men. For he breaks down gates of bronze and cuts through bars of iron. Some became fools through their rebellious ways and suffered affliction because of their iniquities. They loathed all food and drew near the gates of death. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he saved them from their distress. He sent forth his word and healed them. He rescued them from the grave. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his unfailing love and his wonderful deeds for men. Let them sacrifice thank offerings and tell of his works with songs of joy. Others, they went out to sea in ships. They were merchants on the mighty waters. They saw the works of the Lord, his wonderful deeds in the deep. For he spoke and stirred up the tempest that lifted high the waves. 
They mounted up to the heavens and went down to the depths. In their peril, they, their courage melted away. They reeled and staggered like drunken men. They were at their wits' end. Then they cried out to the Lord in their trouble, and he brought them out of their distress. He stilled the storm to a whisper. The waves of the sea were hushed. They were glad when it grew calm, and he guided them to their desired haven. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his unfailing love and his wonderful deeds for men. Let them exalt him in the assembly of the people and praise him in the council of the elders. He turned rivers into a desert, flowing springs into thirsty ground and fruitful land into a salt waste because of the wickedness of those who live there. Come and gather, it says right, the verse 33 and 34. Come and gather for he, our luscious land he turned into a desert. Wait a second, why would we praise him for that? Because it continues to go. Because of the wickedness, because of the disobedience of the people. He has consequences to their disobedience, uh, to their wanderings. And then, verse 35, he turned the desert into pools of water and the parched ground into flowing springs. There he brought the hungry to live and they founded a city where they could settle. They sowed fields and planted vineyards that yielded a fruitful harvest. He blessed them and their numbers greatly increased and did not let their herds diminish. Then their numbers decreased and they were humbled by oppression, calamity, and sorrow. He who pours contempt on nobles made them wander, wander in a trackless waste. But he lifted the needy out of their affliction and increased their families like flocks. The upright see and rejoice, but all the wicked shut their mouths. Whoever is wise, let him heed these things and consider the great love of the Lord. You know, I've said this before, and it just is a true and real statement of our lives. It's just the roller coaster of our lives. The heights, as they're talking about the ships being on the heights up into the heavens and then down into the deep. Our lives can take those ups and those downs. But take a, li take a listen to what is just always at the center it says, let them give thanks to the Lord for his unfailing love and his wonderful deeds for men. Let them give thanks in the heights and in the lows, in the depths. A roller coaster of life, a roller coaster that we can see through the narrative, not just of Israel, but of all people. And being able to know that we wander, we fall, we falter in our walk with the Lord. And it could be some time that he gives us into working on our patience or frankly working on our faithfulness. And he continues to keep us into those seasons, into those places. So that as we see that, as we have that hindsight of 2020, we can see his deliverance, his rescue, what he has done for us. Let us give thanks to the Lord in the heights, in the depths. He is God. Overall, a deliverer, a rescuer, a savior of his people. So, if you're in those depths, you have the narrative in front of you in Psalm 107. Cry out to the Lord. And you're in those heights, cry out to the Lord. Thank you for your unfailing love. In the heights, in the depths, God's unfailing love never departs. Thanks be to God. Have a blessed day.